The mission of the food bank is to reduce hunger in South Texas through food distribution and nutrition education. Well, what brought me to the food bank is I'm unemployed, I have medical problems, I'm not working, and I live with my nephew, my sister, and their children, and this is a way I contribute to the household. Imagine that 79,000 people eat food from the food bank every year. We serve 11 counties in the coastal band, and uh, we distribute through a mobile pantry, or we distribute through a network of 135 agencies. The Coastal Bend Food Bank historically has been the, of course, the main source of food that we, that we acquire to help people who are in need. And um, they have always been there for us. It's a symbiotic kind of relationship that we have with the food bank. They help us and we help the people they're trying to, they're trying to serve. It helps other people that are in need and around the surrounding areas. I mean, not just here in Corpus. What I get out of being a board member is just appreciation of what goes on here. It's, it's really fulfilling to come here and see the people working really hard or going out. I went out when we gave food out at uh, Robstown at the, and, and just seeing the impact that we have on the community. Come here, they will help you. This is a godsend. It's, everybody here is very caring. Hurricane Harvey was truly a blessing in disguise because we had a plan, but we had never tested the plan and it worked. So we were able to be out there where the need was immediately. But I had to stay focused that my job was to get food out to these people who have lost everything. Their homes were destroyed, like ripped out. And they didn't know what they were doing. So they would come over and we'd give them food and tell them it's gonna be okay, we're gonna keep coming. We're gonna keep coming and gonna keep being here. But the food bank was predominantly the reason that people in this community were able to eat. Uh, it was a total devastation, but yet we were able to take care of those that were in need, and that makes us very proud. And I try to stay at the same place where they knew if they needed something, or they knew somebody that needed food, go right there to this area, this is where the food bank is. Food distribution is definitely our main focus but education comes right behind it because unless we teach people the relationship between good nutrition and better health, we are not doing our jobs. We don't want to be part of the problem, we need to be part of the solution. Um, I have noticed uh, I have had to really change the way I eat to better, you know, my life as far as, you know, like be, being uh, able to beat the diabetes. The Coastal Bend Food Bank Diabetes Program, hands-on program, is, it's, it's, is, a, is good information. I know that with, you know the, the community the donations and everything make this possible. It helps people get food they need. But then the other side that I really think uh, Kate and them do a great job is the nutrition education. So they can mitigate some of the health effects. I think it's one of the it's one of the big things that we do. I'd like to thank all the staff for all the hard work and the love they put behind it because it's, it's not. I need to thank every person that supports the food bank because we depend on that support to do the job that we were assigned. Uh, we thank our volunteers, we thank our donors, we thank our workers, and uh, when I say donors, I'm talking about not just the people that donate food, but also the people that support us with financial help. Uh, without their help, we just couldn't function.